morning prayer. I'm so glad that you've joined me today. In the church calendar, this is ordinary time. Proper seven. Love for you to go to benmoremusic.com. Find out more about the podcast. There's an order of service there. With text for the songs and prayers and scriptures to help you follow along. There's also a way for you to support monthly through Patreon. And also a brand new way to support it with a one-time gift. We need you to keep this free, to keep this going, to build this community.
God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Abba, I belong to you. Abba, I belong belong to us. We are yours and you are ours. Thank you, Father. We bless you. We honor you. There is no one like you in heaven or on earth. Amen. Our psalm for today is Psalm 9, verses 9 through 20. The Lord will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in the time of trouble. Those who know your name will put their trust in you. For you never forsake those who seek you, O Lord. Sing praise to the Lord who dwells in Zion. Proclaim to the peoples the things he has done. The avenger of blood will remember them. He will not forget the cry of the afflicted. Have pity on me, O Lord. See the misery I suffer from those who hate me. O you who lift me up from the gate of death. So that I may tell of all your praises and rejoice in your salvation in the gates of the city of Zion. The ungodly have fallen into the pit they dug and in the snare they set is their own foot caught. The Lord is known by his acts of justice. The wicked are trapped in the works of their own hands. The wicked shall be given over to the grave and also all the peoples that forget God. For the needy shall not always be forgotten and the hope of the poor shall not perish forever. Rise up, O Lord, and let not the ungodly have the upper hand. Let them be judged before you. Put fear upon them, O Lord. Let the ungodly know they are but mortal. Glory to the Father. lesson for today is from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 4, verses 35 through 41. On that day, when evening had come, Jesus said to them, Let us go across to the other side. And leaving the crowd behind, they took him with them into the boat, just as he was. Other boats were with him. A great windstorm arose, and the waves beat into the boat so that the boat was already being swamped. But he was in the stern, asleep on the cushion. And they woke him up and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. Then the wind ceased, and there was a dead calm. He said to them, Why are you afraid? Have you still no faith? And they were filled with great awe and said to one another, Who then is this that even the wind and the sea obey him? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I belong to you 
Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Abba, I belong to you. Oh, yeah. I belong to you. Let's pray as our Lord taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. proper seven and our collect of the day O Lord make us have perpetual love and reverence for your holy name for you never fail to help and govern those whom you have set upon the sure foundation of your loving kindness through Jesus Christ our Lord who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever If you do have a prayer request, I encourage you to go to benwarmusic.com slash prayer request. We'd love to pray for you. It'd be our honor and our joy. Lord, we do pray and we thank you for this season. Thank you in the United States for Father's Day. We thank you for that you are a good, good father and no matter all the complications that come with that and all the goodness, we thank you that you are good and you love us as a father does, God, as the perfect father. Thank you, Lord. We pray for the end to coronavirus pandemic. Pray for vaccine distribution. We pray for the end of misinformation related to that and related to anything else. May the truth set us free, God. May the truth be shouted from the rooftops, God. May we hear it from you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, amen. I'm gonna lead us in a few moments of guided prayer. I'll play and I'll give us prompts. And you pray where you are specifically for the people in your life begin with our own hearts, our joys, thanksgivings, trials, celebrations, fears, worries, anxieties.
harbor I belong to Now let's pray for our immediate families, those closest to us, whatever that means in your life today. for our extended families. acquaintances, co-workers, whoever the Lord brings to your heart, to your mind, to your tongue. for our enemies. Jesus commands us to do this. It changes us. It changes them. It changes the circumstance. Put a blessing upon them, a thing you would want prayed for you, no matter how hard that is. thank you and we thank you that uh, for this weekend is the first federally recognized observance of Juneteenth the very end of slavery in the United States and God we just want to thank you for that and Lord we just want to ask you that the work would continue in more freedom you are the author of freedom God and we just pray Lord there be more and more for our, our brothers and sisters of color, God. May we be a part of the work, Lord. May I be a part of the work. May we see everyone free. Who the Son has set free is free indeed. Thank you, Lord. Abba, I belong to you, Abba, I belong to you. And by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen and amen. Go in the peace and the power and the presence and the freedom of the Holy Spirit today. You are loved. You are treasured. You are defended. You are protected. You are emboldened by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Once again, I invite you to go to bendwordmusic.com. We have an order of service, all of the things that you can find out about the podcast, a way to support the podcast monthly on Patreon, patreon.com slash morningprayer, and also a link there on bendwordmusic.com to give a one-time gift. Thank you. We'll pray together again soon. Bye-bye.